Hi everyone, welcome back to Dr. Kim's ENT Talk channel. I'm Dr. Kim, an ENT specialist. Have your ears ever felt itchy, erythema, or even started otorrhea after wearing earphones? Earphones are a part of daily life for many of us, but sometimes they can cause more harm than we realize. In today's video, we'll talk about how wearing earphones can lead to skin irritation, and in some cases, even ear infection. And more importantly, how to take care of your ears when this happens. Part one, what are the symptoms? If you've recently noticed any of these signs after using earphones, it might be time to pay attention. Itching inside or around your ears. Redness or edema, especially where the earphones touch your skin. Sticky or watery discharge from the ear. A feeling of tenderness or even a burning sensation when touching your ear. These symptoms often appear when in-ear earphones are worn for long periods especially if they fit tightly or are made from materials that your skin doesn't like. Sometimes the discomfort is mild at first, just a bit of dryness or itching, but it can gradually turn into something more bothersome if left untreated. Part two, what's causing it? Now let's take a closer look at what might be causing the problem. There are two common types of skin irritation that we see in the ear canal or outer ear. First, contact dermatitis. This is an allergic or irritant reaction. Your skin may be reacting to certain materials in the earphones, like rubber, nickel, or fragrance residues from cleaning products. Second, pressure dermatitis. This happens when earphones press against the skin too tightly or for too long. This constant pressure can reduce blood flow and break down the natural skin barrier, leading to inflammation, redness, and even fluid buildup. Part three, what you can do. Here are some gentle and effective steps you can take. Take a break from using earphones for a few days to let your skin heal. Switch to hypoallergenic ear tips like medical grade silicone or memory foam. Try open type earphone or even over the ear headphones if you need to reduce pressure. If the skin feels dry or inflamed, you can apply a mild moisturizer or a low strength hydrocortisone cream, but only as advised by a doctor. And here's something really important. Please don't put anything inside your ears. No cotton swabs, no ear picks, no hairpins. These often make things worse by pushing irritation deeper or damaging delicate skin. Part four, when to see a specialist. Ongoing pain or swelling, persistent discharge that lasts more than a few days, hearing changes or a feeling of blockage. Seeing an ENT specialist early can prevent complications and help your ears heal faster. Thanks so much for spending time with me today here on Dr. Kim's ENT Talk. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss any of our future tips. Your ears do a lot for you. Let's take good care of them in return. Take care and see you in the next video.